So I have a 7.3 diesel in my 2000 Ford pickup truck. It is a F350. It has a significant amount of miles on it. It's got 297,000 miles. I know that's not a lot for the engine, but for the rest of the accessories on the truck, it, it's time to start replacing things as they die. Now, one thing this truck did, and I'm going to go in a little bit of detail here just so you can kind of self-diagnose your own issues if you're having a similar problem, and that is when I was running through town at speeds of about 25 to 35 mile an hour, I noticed sort of a dead spot or jerky spot in the pedal and what I mean is I could kind of accelerate to maybe 25 and then I could press on the pedal and it really wouldn't do anything and then it would take off and, and, and reach the 35 mile an hour so there was a little bit of a dead spot there and I also had a dead spot on the highway where it would also do that right around 50 so I would be running about 50 mile an hour and I'd give a little more acceleration and it wouldn't do anything and then finally it would just overcome and, and take off to 55 or wherever. Now one thing to diagnose the issue is if you can be on the highway and you set your cruise control to let's say 40 and you accelerate um, using your you're pressing down the set accelerate button which speeds up your engine and it accelerates smoothly and doesn't have any dead spots, then more than likely it is your throttle position sensor. Now your throttle position sensor is located on the pedal. Now, one thing that I wanna say is I have two issues with this truck, and these are two different issues that happen, uh, typically not at the same time, but because I let the one problem continue, now I have a second problem. And that is on that pedal is two sensors, and I wanna show you that. Now this is the pedal assembly out of my truck. Actually, this is a new one. As usual, I'll put a link down below in the description to parts and pieces that I used. Uh, but I do wanna talk about these sensors. So there are two sensors on this pedal assembly and this is the throttle position sensor of which you can replace by its own. Uh, you can find these parts at Amazon or Ford or wherever. And I actually read that you probably wanna stay with the Ford brand because they're a little bit better than some of the other brands out there. Now this plug here is a position sensor switch. And what it does is it tells the computer when the pedal is all the way up, it tells it to go into idle. And when this switch fails, which it also started doing on my truck, what'll happen is you'll be sitting there at a stoplight or in a park light or in your driveway and the truck will be running and you'll press this pedal and nothing will happen. It will not rev up. The truck will not move. It just stays in idle. And as far as the truck is concerned, you're in idle. So that switch is actually, it's kind of cheesy. Kind of surprised Ford would do this. But that switch is right here and it's glued in there. It's not screwed in place. It's actually just glued in there. And I've read that sometimes they just come loose and, and fall out. Sometimes the switch just gets old, like in my case, and just doesn't, doesn't activate all the way. Uh, so that's something to look for. But I don't think you can replace it. I could be wrong. Maybe there's a kit that lets you re-epoxy one down in there. I don't know. Regardless, my pedal was a little bit sloppy. So I'm replacing the whole thing. It's, it's just worn out. It's, it's got left and right movement. Um, it's, it's old. But those are the two sensors. So basically, I want to go over this one more time because it's really important that you understand what happens when these sensors fail. Throttle position sensor tells the computer exactly how far down the pedal is and how many you know revs or, or basically controls the RPMs of the engine. That's what this sensor does. This sensor is only to tell the computer if it's in idle mode or not in idle mode. So basically it's saying yes, the guy is depressing the accelerator pedal or the accelerator pedal is not being depressed at all. So when this fails, you basically won't be able to move and the engine will just stay idling and you can press the pedal all day long and nothing will happen. And when this starts to fail, you usually get jerky responses in the pedal or dead spots. So those two things you need to understand pretty well to determine how to diagnose your problem. My situation, I just replaced the entire assembly unit just because I had some, some mechanical slop in the unit itself and it's just time to replace it. Now the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is come down here and see if I get the good camera angle on here and show you these plugs. You wanna remove these plugs and they're pretty simple. They basically have a little release mechanism and you reach up and you press this little tong in and, and it'll come right out. And the same with the fat one. It's got a little tong on the, on the back side or a little clip. You press in, it comes out too. Now there are only three 10 millimeter bolts that hold this in. One here, there's one down here that you really can't see because of the lighting. One over here. Once we remove those three bolts, the entire assembly should come right off. Installing a new one is just as simple as putting the new one in place and tightening down the three main bolts. 
and then you're going to plug your plugs back in and your truck should be ready for another 300,000 miles. So I can tell already that the throttle position sensor has a full range where before there was that dead spot uh, right between 35 and 45. The truck is running a whole lot better. Uh, I also want to mention that there are no dash um, engine lights. Only one time did I actually get an engine light and I was sitting at McDonald's and I gave it some gas and nothing happened but the engine light came on and it went away as soon as I let my foot off the pedal. Uh, and then the truck started rolling again. So the, the sensor started working at that point. So the engine lights may or may not indicate your issue with that pedal, but I think once you learn what those sensors do, uh, you'll be just fine. And if you have a 7.3 engine in your Ford truck, you're probably gonna to wanna to subscribe to my channel and take a look at some of my other videos related to this truck. And as I get issues, I plan on doing videos and I hope other people or you yourself do so we can learn a little more about this engine.